What black magician conjures up this theme to stop devoted, charitable deeds? What? Do you tremble? Are you all afraid? Alas, I blame you not, for you are mortal, and mortal eyes cannot endure the devil. Avaunt, thou dreadful minister of hell! Thou hast but power over his mortal body. His soul thou canst not have, therefore be gone. Sweet saint, for charity be not so cursed. Thou devil, for God's sake, hence and trouble us not, for thou hast made the happy earth thy hell, filled it with cursing cries and deep exclaims. If thou delight to view thy heinous deeds, behold, this pattern of thy butcheries, O oh, gentlemen, see. See dead Henry's wounds ope their congealed mouths and bleed afresh. Blush. Blush, thou lump of fouled form, for tis thy presence that exhales this blood from cold and empty veins where no blood dwells. Thy deeds, inhuman and unnatural, provokes this deluge most unnatural. O oh God, which this blood madest revenge his death. O oh earth, which this blood drinkest revenge his death. Either heaven with lightning strike the murderer dead, or earth gape open wide and eat him quick, as thou dost swallow up this good king's blood, which his hell governed arm hath butchered. Lady, you know no rules of charity, which renders good for bad, blessings for curses. Yet thou knowest no law of God nor man, no beast so fierce. But no some touch of pity. But I know none, and therefore am no beast. Oh, wonderful when devils tell the truth. More wonderful when angels are so angry. Vouchsafe divine perfection of a woman. Of these supposed crimes to give me leave by circumstance, but to acquit myself. Oh, vouchsafe diffused infection of a man. For these no evils, but to give me leave by circumstance to accuse thy cursed self. Fairer than tongue can name thee, let me have some patient leisure to excuse myself. Fouler than heart can thank thee, thou canst make no excuse current but to hang thyself. By such despair I should accuse myself. And by despairing shalt thou stand <coughs> excused for doing worthy vengeance on thyself that didst unworthy slaughter upon others. Say that I slew them not. But dead they are, and devilish slave by thee. I did not kill your husband. Why then? He is alive. Nay, he is dead, and slain by Edward's hands. In thy foul throat thou liest. Queen Margaret saw thy murderous falchion smoking in his blood, the which thou once didst bend against her breast, but that thy brothers beat aside the point. I was provoked by her slanderous tongue, which laid their guilt upon my guiltless shoulders. Thou was provoked by thy bloody mind, that never dreamt on aught but butcheries. Didst thou not kill this king? I grant ye. Dost grant me, hedgehog. Then God grant me too. Thou mayest be damned for that wicked deed. Oh, he was gentle, mild, and virtuous. The better for the king of heaven that hath thee. He is in heaven, where thou shalt never come. And let him thank thee that halt descend and live, for he is fitter for that place than earth. And thou unfit for any place but hell. Yes, one place else, if you will hear me name it. Some dungeon. Your bedchamber. Ill rest betide the chamber where thou liest. So will it, madam, till I lie with you. I hope so. I know so. But, gentle Lady Anne, to leave this keen encounter of our wits and fall something into a slower method. 
Is not the causer of the timeless deaths of these Plantagenets, Henry and Edward, as blameful as the executioner? Thou art the cause, and most accursed effect. Your beauty was the cause of that effect. Your beauty that did haunt me in my sleep, to undertake the death of all the world that I might live one hour in your sweet bosom. If I thought that, I tell thee, homicide, these nails should rend that beauty from my cheeks. These eyes could not endure that beauty's wreck. You should not blemish it if I stood by. As all the world is cheered by the sun, so I by that. It is my day, my life. Black night or shade thy day, and death thy life. Curse not thyself, fair creature, thou art both. Why would I were to be revenged on thee? It is a quarrel most unnatural to be revenged on him that loveth thee. Oh, it is a quarrel just and reasonable to be revenged on him that killed my husband. He that bereft thee, lady, of thy husband did it to help thee to a better husband. His better doth not breathe upon the earth. He lives that loves thee better than he could. Name him. Plantagenet. Why, that was he. The self-same name, but one of better nature. Where is he? Here. Why dost thou spit at me? Mortal poison, for thy sake. Never came poison from so sweet a place. Never hung poison on a fowler toad out of my sight. Thou dost infect mine eyes. Thine eyes, sweet lady, have infected mine. They were basilisks to strike thee dead. I would they were, that I might die at once, for now they kill me with a living death. Those eyes of thine, for mine, have drawn salt tears. Shame their aspects with store of childish drops. These eyes, which never shed a remorseful tear. Oh, no! When my father, York, and Edward wept to hear the piteous moan that Rutland made, when black-faced Clifford shook his sword at him, nor when thy warlike father, like a child, told the sad story of my father's death, and twenty times made pause to sob and weep, that all the standers by had wet their cheeks like trees, who dashed for the rain. In that sad time, my manly eyes did scorn and humble tear. And what these sorrows could not thence exhale, thy beauty hath, and made them blind with weeping. I never sued friend, nor enemy. My tongue could never learn sweet smoothing word. But now thy beauty is proposed, my fee, my proud heart sues and prompts my tongue to speak. Teach not thy lips such scorn, for it was made for kissing, lady, not for such contempt. If thy revengeful heart Cannot forgive. Lo, here, I lend thee this sharp pointed sword, which, if thou please to hide in this true breast, and let the soul forth that adoreth thee, I lay it naked to the deadly stroke, and humbly beg the death upon my knee. Nay, do not pause, for I did kill King Henry, but t'was thy beauty that provoked me. Nay, thou dispatch, t'was I that stabbed young Edward, but t'was thy heavenly face that set me on. sore again, or take up me. Arise, dissembler. Though I wish thy death, I will not be thy executioner. Then bid me kill myself, and I will do it. I have already. That was in thy rage. Speak it again, and even with the word, this hand, 
which for thy love did kill thy love, so for thy love kill far truer love. To both their deaths thou shalt be accessory. When I knew thy heart, tis figured in my tongue. I fear ye both are false. Then never was man true. Well, well, put up your sword. Say that my peace is made. That shall thou know hereafter. But shall I live in hope? Oh, no, my hope lives so. Vouchsafe to wear this ring. To take is not to give. Look how my ring encompass thy finger. Even as thy breast encloseth my poor heart, wear both of them, for both of them are thine. Bid me farewell. Tis more than you deserve. But since you teach me how to flatter you, imagine I have said farewell already. <laughs> 